Hey guys, I am back bringing you another video. So today we're going to be starting a brand new playthrough on on a Nintendo Wii Wii game. So here it is. Sonic and the Black Knight for the Nintendo Wii. So this game came out in 2009. I actually managed to finish the game a while back. And this is the sequel to Sonic and the Secret Rings in the Sonic Storybook series. And this got really bad reception when it came out. It's like, I understand why. Sonic with a sword? Really? Sonic is known for running fast and that's it, not wielding a sword that's why people mostly prefer the secret rings even though it's on rails but secret rings has its negatives as well but here they just kind of took that and made it worse so but i still love the game i still enjoy playing it i do have a save file on here but we will create another one so yeah let's start it Sega. So here we are, we are pressing A and B to start it, new game, start a new game, so I'm just going to put, what the, that's not what I wanted to do, new game, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put, to the opening cutscene. Yeah, that totally makes sense. He just comes out from the sky. Hey, where am I? Being from a distant world. Forgive my abrupt summons. Oh, I 
get it. No problem. I'm used to stuff like this. <gasps> I shall give chase. Spread out and go after them. Slay them on sight. Ha. Let's go. Must we? She is the royal wizard, after all. The king's orders are absolute. Yes, Gawain. but... Without loyalty to the king, we are nothing. Still, the king... He has changed. And this kingdom... Why'd you stop me? I could have taken him down, no problem. You do not understand. He cannot be wounded. How can that be? He bears the scabbard of Excalibur. Hey, wait a second. I think I've heard that name before. Um, let me see. Excalibur is King Arthur's sword. Oh, yeah, right! So that means... This is the land ruled by King Arthur. Whoa! But was that really the king himself? I mean, he seemed way different in the stories. Let us go. We can talk along the way. Let me introduce myself. I am Merlina the Wizard. I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, so now we are going to the first stage, and this is going to be Misty Lake. First, I would like for you to get accustomed to Now... Sounds good. The rules seem a little different this time around. So, this game is technically on rails. Yeah, you can move Sonic with a nunchuck, but you have total control over him, like in Secret Rings, to where it's constantly on rails, where he's like a motion device. So, and the gameplay is pretty much like Secret Rings. You can still do the homing attack, but the homing attack is useless, and you shake the Weir remote to uh, use the sword. That way you can start doing some attacks. This is really cool. And this is actually really cool as well. That's actually really cool. You can do a bunch of combos. What I hate about it though, so it's kind of unresponsive at times. That was tight. But anyway, here we go. We got five stars. Now these are just items that can be used for later on during the game. So we're gonna just we're just gonna identify them all. Oh, cutscene. He was once a wise and just ruler. He was blessed with noble knights and praised by all. However... He got a little sidetracked? Yes. Nimu, the Lady of the Lake, gave him Excalibur. He was bewitched by the power of immortality its scabbard bestowed. 
He became immortal, summoning legions from the underworld. He is plunging his kingdom into a world of horror and chaos. You mean like a big old haunted house? <laughs> this will be cool! It'll be like Halloween all year long! Maybe so, but I fear there will be nobody left to enjoy it. We must act now. You mean take out King Arthur? What about the immortal thing? Beyond this misty lake sleeps a sacred sword. With that sword... Yeah, yeah, I'll go get it. Be back in a flash. Wait, Sonic! Good luck. Alright, so new mission has been added to the Misty Lake. So we're just gonna go over to the Sacred Sword. The fate of our kingdom rests in your hands. Do not fail us. You can count on me. I mean, stuff like this happens to me all the time. So, uh... But yeah, we're just gonna go Richard the Sacred Sword. We can smash these targets as well. You can swing your sword even now. It's actually really cool. We can switch Sonic from side to side with a control stick. That way he can go faster while driving on rails. That's actually really cool. Which is really this is really dumb though. The rings increase by the number of fairies. Oh, these bulls. That's that's so fucking annoying. This is why the sword mashing is kind of terrible in here. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, the gameplay is pretty much like Secret Rings, except they kind of made it a little bit worse in here. But it's still a really fun game to do. Play with. Oh. Oh. That's really cool though. Like I said, you can do combos with the sword after doing a homing attack. But the homing attack is basically worthless. It's not helpful unless you're trying to do combos. Look at this rusted, rusted ass sword. <laughs> Very well. Why don't I prepare something a little more challenging? Behold, the ruler of this lake, the Mist Dragon. And it's the dragon. Now, Sonic, you swing your sword. Oh. oh my god. This... Okay. There we go. Ah, come on. Ah, fuck. I just, I stepped back, come on. Okay, ugh. Oh. Pop your head over here, there you go. Yeah. That's why we're first secret rings over this one, honestly. Four stars, not a problem. We got 27 Twitter followers. <laughs> We're just gonna identify them all. And, alright, now it's time to go for the boss, King Arthur. Cutscene time. Must be it. Are you ready? Ready for what? If you remove that sword and defeat King Arthur with it, you shall forever be the worst of knights, slayer of kings. Guess I can't be the hero every time. <laughs> It goes by the name Caliburn. 
That's kind of sorry looking. Fool! You are the chosen one. You are but a squire. Oh, yeah? Says you. The sword has a mind of its own. <laughs> it's its bear. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, well, it's got a pretty smart mouth on it for a sword. <laughs> the impertinent one is you, <laughs> knave. Brace yourself, for I shall train you until you are worthy. All right, Professor. And here he is. Work your magic. And here he is, King Arthur. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go defeat the boss, King Arthur. Let us see the power of your so-called sacred sword. Come on. Swing your sword any time your opponent's attack. Jump! Yeah. You'll never get away! Yeah. Alright. Come on. Yeah. I remember fucking. I remember fucking uh, failing this boss. This is where oh my god. The from the knaves. There we go. And then it's one. Yeah, it's three stars. If I got through it flawlessly, it'll be five stars. We got 38 Twitter, Twitter followers. <laughs> Identify all. There we go. Now it's cutscene time, I believe. Yep. This could go on forever. You sure you're a sacred sword? It is you, sir, who lacks the proper fighting. Ha! <laughs> a fool of a knight. Not even worth slaying. You see? He thinks so too. Well, it's your fault. You're a sad excuse for a teacher. <laughs> For as long as he bears that scabbard, we may never be able to defeat King Arthur. So what are we gonna do? We must ask the scabbard's former owner how to hinder its power. And who would that be? Nemu, the Lady of the Lake, the one I mentioned earlier. What are we waiting for? Let's go pay her a little visit. I fear it may not be as simple as that. What do you mean? You shall see for yourself. Onward, my young knave. Stop calling me knave! I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! Very well then, I shall call you Knave the Hedgehog. Whatever, you oversized letter opener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, new missions been added to the Misty Lake. We're gonna we're gonna do it, why not? Might as well get this one out of the way. Four stars? You gotta be shitting me. We gotta identify all. Eh. Not that real interesting. Hmm. I suppose something must be done about this. What are you talking about? My edge has grown blunt. Being in that rock for so long has taken its toll. Ha! Not the sharpest tool in the shed, huh? That's because a gentleman shouldn't have such an edge. Gentleman? Who are you calling gentleman? Seek out the blacksmith in the castle town. I must be presentable when we meet the Lady of the Lake. What are you gonna do, Merlina? Merlina? Hello? Why do flowers bloom, knowing they are destined to wither? Huh? 
Their time of beauty is so short-lived. Forgive me, Sonic. But I would be recognized in town. I shall remain behind in hiding. All right. Then I guess it's so long for now. Yes. May your journey be safe. Alright, so the next the next stage we're going to be going to is Camulet Castle, but that's going to be later on um, in part 2, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe if you new, enjoy the content, 